Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Country. Well, you bore with me this morning. I do apologize. I know that 30 minutes is a long, long video, son, no matter how much you enjoy my melodious tones. But I wanted to show you those medium size. That's about a medium size uh, fixed blade. Now, I didn't show you any of my large ones. And, and really, anything smaller than that, I have boot knives, uh, push knives, and we'll discuss those on a later day. This video, however, is about the RMJ U-Cap, which I am wearing today, and the Gerber Strong Arm. The ransom tests on both. Now, before we get into that, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. We're coming on down to the end of our raffle. Got about a week and a half left. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to participate in that, please participate in that. Do five bucks. Uh, if you want to send it to Southeastern Guide Dogs, Go on the intranet. It ain't hard, son. Hit Southeastern Guide Dogs. It has a little thing there that says donate, and you can do that. Miss Lisa has said that she would let me know. Uh, do put Choir Boys Cutler on there if you would, if you want to be involved in the raffle. If you don't, totally cool with it. Uh, but let me know. Hey, man, we donated just so I can kind of be appreciative to you, and I do appreciate that. Now, our Leos. We support our Leos. We don't break the damn law. And today, to the best of my knowledge, I have not. It's early. You never know. But we stand behind him. We back the blue. Guys, we're with you. It's a crappy time to be a policeman. To our addicts, you're welcome here. And again, we're going to cover that a little bit more probably this weekend. Um, but into the video, and to make the this part short, uh, especially after a 30-minute video this morning, son. I know you're about sick of me. I guarantee you. But it doesn't matter because I'm not going away. Uh, where are we at? Oh, the strong arm and the U-cap. Now, two different knives. This is not a versus. Uh, that was never the the goal. Let me tell you what I do. When I have my, my Gerber strong arm with me, I usually pair it with the Miller. I'll carry the Miller or that 1917 uh, buoy that I've just sharpened the bejeebies out of. Um, those two knives are incredibly sharp. They're large fixed blades, so I pair the Gerber with it. Now, the Gerber's pretty sharp, and you'll see that in the testing, but it's a 25 degree edge bevel. So if I need to get any light chopping done, anything like that, that's what this is for. The U-cap, I pair with the D-bat. The U-cap is razor sharp, and it is a slicer. I used it today, and you'll see that in the test. So what I wanna do is just give you an overall view. We are a review channel see what y'all think uh, leave me a comment down below if you're like man i don't leave comments then leave a 22 and a blue blue heart that'll let me know you remember about the 22 veterans a day and the blue hearts for our leos hey i love you god bless you i'm scab you're not enjoy enjoy the video later at the end or something i don't know i'll pop well thank you scab sounded like you got a little tongue tied there at the end but you made it through it. Now here we go, little RMJ action. This is some more phone cord. I know that shocks all of you. I was gonna try to strip it, but I honestly, it just glided right through it, so I chopped it a few times. And here we are doing some slices on this stick. Now this RMJ is one of my favorite little knives, and it's a catch-22 because I'm not a fan of the length of the handle. The, 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 material is awesome it's perfect it feels great in my hand i just wish it had like an inch on it it don't so there's no use in saying anything else about it uh except i wish i had another inch on it now the difference between it and the strong arm handle material the strong arm handle material is a little rubbery it's got some knobbies good grip on it both of them have super grip but it, the, the strong arm has about a four and a half inch grip, uh, maybe a five, so you can really wrap your hand on it, really get a good grip on it. And like I said, in the opening, they're, they're two different things. I pair that uh, U-cap with my D-bad Preacher, so I always have a slicer, and I pair that strong arm with my Miller, because my Miller is, is the slicer in that. Just little combinations, you know, that most people have more common sense than to do but not old scabber. Now we're gonna do a little chopping test here. And uh, here's a strong arm. With the, with the longer handle, you can just get that whip action on it. And trust me, I'm gonna show you every single second of me chopping 
on this one by one here. I'm just going to work on it, son, or one by half, whatever you want to call it. Now, the strong arm does a pretty good job. It's 420C, and it is super tough. It really is. Now, they've got the strong arm in a 421 material. I'm sorry, BD1 material. I'm all over the place today. I got up too early. But a BD1, I don't have that one. I'd love to. Uh, I'm about to kill myself right there. But... You see the strong arm just kind of went through it. Didn't blow through it, but it made it through it. Let me grab me another log here, and we're going to try the U-cap. Now, the U-cap, like I said earlier, is not a chopper. It's just not. The handle material is that 3D machine G10, uh, and it, I, I call it maybe scalloped or sculpted. It feels good, but you can see right here, it's just not, I mean, that's just not what it does. It's the Nitro V stainless steel. It is full tang construction. That is something that I really like. It's durable. Um, it's very durable. It's made, like I said, for SWAT teams, tactical teams. It's, it's very rigid. Um, and it's a great knife. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to shut up about it, but that one inch would make a difference. Now, I gave up with the chopping with it uh, and decided to do a little batoning right here. Yes, I hit my hand, and yes, it hurt like hell. Uh, a lesser YouTuber would have probably just quit right there or made some Instagram videos on it and wanted a purple heart, but not old scabber. No, sir, we blow right through it. If you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough, son. And that, that's, that's a massive statement for me. Here we go with a cover. Look at the edge on that thing. Now, it is a 25 degree. Do the drop test, the Donnie B all day drop test. They both were very balanced. This is where you just hold it up three or four feet and drop it straight down. I think I did like five a piece. Why, I don't know. But, I mean, look, they, they are landing. They're perfectly, both of them are really well balanced. A little throw in there. Oh, we're going to throw it again. One thing about old Scabber, I don't do things just one time. If you ever see me do something one time, you'll know something's up. It's a, it's a clone or something, because I don't do that. Now, a little batoning right here, and yes, I know. Oh, there you go, Scab. Get on in the angle. Now, again, these are just these little one-by-half stakes that we use. But, I mean, hey, in this situation, if you need it in a survival situation, you're not going to sit there and be picky about the wood you get. So, shut up. Now, this did a good job. Both knives, I felt like, did a good job. And yes, it's thin material. I learned my lesson. If y'all remember three or four, five, six, seven, eight, ten videos ago, when I tried to baton with my D Bad Preacher, which it would have blown through it, except it was about an eight inch diameter log that was four foot long. The Lord liked to kill me. So here we go. Now, the batoning with the strong arm, believe it or not, was really, really comfortable. That grip is it's just a good grip to have in hand. It wasn't so comfortable with the U-cap, but that's because I hit my damn knuckle. Now, I don't think I hit myself again. No, nope, we got it going that time. And I will say this, as far as batoning goes, just this light batoning, I would have to say the strong arm's a little better because it's a little thicker. And so it was able to wedge and split a lot quicker. Again, the U-cap strength to me would be like an in-quick, up-close weapon. It's a clip point. It's very sharp, and it's easy to sharpen. I will say that. Yeah, that's why I kind of took it to a 20-degree bevel, um, just to get a little more slicey-slicey on it. And it, again, now, the Rockwell hardness on the UCAP is like 58 to 60, so it is a little harder. It's a, like I said, it's a, a clip point buoy style knife, and it looks like a buoy. It really does. Very comfortable in hand. I ain't gonna mention that it needs to be an inch longer. Y'all heard that enough. But let's see what we're gonna, let's old scab will do right here. Only the good Lord knows, and he ain't telling. Okay. Scab's gonna do some shaving right here with it. Now, the, now the, the strong arm, the strength of the strong arm is a little longer. It's got good chopping ability. That 420C is tried and true. It's as tried and true a material as you'll find. I'm doing a little feather stick in there. Old scab feather sticking ball one. 
and I didn't want to do a versus thing on this, guys, because, yeah, look, oh, son, thank you, Gavin. So I'm glad you showed us that. Because there's just no real way to compare them in that manner other than they're my backup fixed blades. Now, I keep saying that, but for a lot of y'all, these will be primaries. And I know several guys, several guys, that could take either one of these knives, take them in the woods, and just survive like a mug on them. They're both durable, they're both compact, they're both easy to carry. Like I said this morning, the uh, the one thing I would say is the Gerber strong arm, the only knock on it would be it's it's not the sheath because it's a cadet sheath, but I think they over-engineered it, son. You about have to have a scientist from NASA to strap the damn thing on anything. And I know several of y'all, oh, I didn't know no problem at all, Scam. Uh -huh. There's a shocker, there's a shocker. Now, a little pryability right here, a little U-cap prying away. Strong arm did a good job with it. A little thicker blade. Okay, here we go. A little stabby stab. Slash. Yep. A little blood coming out there. And a quick stab. That's where that clip point helps. Stabbed it again. And I punched it with my thumb. Good stickability. Let's see what the strong arm's got. Good slash. Oh, yeah. Good stab. Missed. Let's see, throw it. Oh, yeah, I damn near killed myself right there, son. If it wasn't for them cat-like reflexes, I'd have probably been all but a goner. Now, here's just a slicing test. Here's one geared more for the U-cap. The old pool, pool, pool noodle. And the U-cap handles it, man, no problem. And it just sliced. It didn't drag. It didn't pull. It didn't do anything. It just cut right through there. Now, I will say this. When the strong arm was employed... There was some drag to it. Like I said, strong arm was made more for chopping, and I could I could change that in a heartbeat. It ain't but a setting on the work chart. Um, and it's not a bad cutter. It cut it fine. I'm just saying the difference in these two knives, I would say the strong point of the U-cap is it's very durable. It's small. It's compact. You can carry it. Belt carry. Nobody will see it if you deploy it. You know, do the old trick where you cover the blade with your finger and go to work. Um, the strength of the strong arm is it's a, it's a jam up camp knife there's a bunch of guys, Gideon's Tactical um, I'm not sure what the guy's name is but I love his videos he is in love with the strong arm matter of fact he's the one that got the BD1 so you can sharpen it up like a razor there's no real negatives so those were those tests, hope you enjoyed those now we're going we're gonna to pull out a couple more medium knives as the days go by and, and we'll continually compare here's a little scab riding through the woods I thought y'all might like to see this a little relaxing sauntering view now this isn't really the swamp wasn't really in the swamp today just the backwoods running down some of these old trail roads um, cutting lines that kind of thing well really Kirk did more cutting with the mower today we just kind of hung out behind him but uh, just going down these trail roads I love riding in the woods hey to my addicts guys and to my veterans Y'all don't fight alone. I posted this number here. I post it every video. I post it every video. If you need help, reach out. Please reach out. Hey, if you want to do our raffle, now's the time to jump in it. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Hey, tomorrow's Friday. Well, today is my Friday. So, uh, sucks to be you if you got to work tomorrow. Old Scabber don't. I'm meeting Jimbo at Ronnie's. Hey, I'm Scab. You're not. And we gone.